Hello everyone, this is the mind of Lilith and thank you for joining me today as I take a deeper look into the most recent episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville season 6 episode 17. I will not be doing a full episode recap as there are plenty of other content creators who do a great job covering the show. Instead, I'm going to focus on specific segments of the episode that I believe can be used as teachable moments for myself and the audience. So for this episode, um... The most important scene to me was when Chris and his wife, Nell, were having a conversation with Marceau and Tisha about the Black Expo. And Chris wanted to know why he wasn't invited. He said he's been in real estate for years. He and his wife were the original power couple of Huntsville. They've been married for 29 years. And uh, Nell is Melody's close friend. And so um, Marceau made some excuse that was lame. It is what it is. But he also said that Melody was not invited to speak at the expo because of her t-shirt business. Essentially, he was saying that in his mind, um, he didn't think that Melody's t-shirt business had a long track record of success. So it wouldn't make sense for her to be one of the speakers instead of Maurice and Stormy. And I can respect that if that was actually the truth. Melody had been running businesses for a long time. Um, she was the reason why the show was pitched to Carlos King in the first place. She and Martel had Holt Enterprises, which was like a property preservation, and also Holt Custom Homes, which was them um, building custom residential properties, right? And so um, they have a long track record of success in business to the point where the comeback group was relying on Melody's participation. They were all dependent on her business acumen and her experience and her intellect and her expertise to make the team's vision a success. So, you know, I said this over a year ago. I stated that Marceau and Tisha, in my opinion, were vying for the Holtz position. There was some hidden resentment about how the Holtz had so much power, so much respect, and so much prestige in the community for various reasons. And I feel like Marceau wanted the opportunity to shit on Melody. And he took the opportunity to shit on her. Now, it could be because of the way that things transpired during the planning meetings and Melody wanted to be paid to speak, which I don't think was an unreasonable request. Marceau even stated that, you know, the speaker should have been paying them for the opportunity and the privilege to speak to members of the community. Now I'm gonna say this, if, you know, Marceau had all of these successful businesses at this event, why would it have been unreasonable for them to pay $500 or $1,000 for their booths? to showcase their products and services to the community. And then the money that the vendors would have uh, contributed to the expo could have been used to pay for speakers and entertainment. Why wasn't that considered? Why are you asking Stormy for $100? $100. Mr. Businessman, why are you asking this lady for $100 <laughs> to put up a booth? Are you serious? So I think Marceau just wanted the opportunity to shit on Melody. He wanted to uh, reduce her to her failures or reduce her to her worst, lowest level. Melody has several successful businesses, which she started after her divorce about two years ago. So Melody has a skincare line. She's doing hair care products now for her daughter. Um, she has a t-shirt. She has the uh, property preservation courses. She's doing many things. And I'm sure she's pulling in more money than Tisha and Marcel with their businesses. I'm not saying it for sure, but I won't be surprised if she were. So for her, for them to act as if she's not an asset because she doesn't have a, 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 a long-term business due to a divorce, right? Holt Custom Homes and their other property preservation business, it didn't go under because of lawsuits and bad business practices. Melody and Martel went through a very nasty divorce. And so everything that they built, unfortunately was destroyed as a result of that. And you know, to be honest, Marceau, in my opinion, contributed to the demise of the Holtz marriage. I'm not saying that it was 100% his fault, but he was a negative influence. And Melody even stated this. Arion even stated that they were all hanging out in Atlanta. Married men hanging out with their side pieces together in Atlanta. So he was not a good influence. So for him to act as if Melody's businesses 
uh, they failed or they're no longer um, operating because of some of something other than circumstances beyond her control, i.e. you being a negative influence on my dumbass husband is nothing short of him being petty and vicious. He wanted to humble Melody with that statement. He wanted to humble her and reduce her to her divorce and the dissolution of their companies, right? He doesn't care about her 10 years of experience. He doesn't care about her builder's license. He doesn't care about the awards and the accolades she received as a successful business woman. All he wanted to do was reduce her to nothing, to reduce her to just a t-shirt company. If Melody would have let herself be pimped out by Marcel, because Marcel doesn't value people that he can't use. If Melody would have said, sure, I'll volunteer my time and I'll speak at your event, right, for free. I will bring the brand of Melody Holt that I've created to help support your expo, even though you don't respect me. And even though the reason why I don't have a successful business, so to speak, is because of your contribution to the demise of my relationship with my husband, right? And so, yeah, Marceau knows what he's doing. He did that on purpose. And I know his statements hurt Melody's feelings and it got under her skin because he was acting as if she had to prove herself to him. And that is essentially what he and Tisha wanted to happen all along. They wanted to be the power couple of Huntsville. And I said over a year ago that Tisha and Marceau were, were vying for that position. And so they were low key happy that the Holtz were getting a divorce. I knew this a long time ago. And so unfortunately, I think I'm correct. Now, I'm not saying that Marceau doesn't have any redeemable qualities, whatever, whatever. But in, in, in this instance, I felt bad for Melody because it's almost like she felt like she had to prove herself to him or she, she felt like she had to explain why she should have been at this man's event. I would have been like, fuck your little expo. Sometimes when you're too nice to people and sometimes when you mind your own business, people tend to forget who you really are. And if Melody was a really petty, vindictive, dark person, um, she would have her own expo, which I'm sure would be a lot more successful than the Scott's expo. But she has bigger and better things to focus on. But Marceau wanted to humble her and she was a bit flustered. And I felt bad for her because I know how hard she worked to get to where she is today and I know what she was trying to do. The destruction of the Holtz marriage essentially became fertilizer for the Scott's marriages, right? For Kimmy, for Tisha, for Marcel and Maurice because Melody and Martel's divorce made the show more popular. Melody's trials and tribulations took the show to the stratosphere, okay? Marcel and Tisha ain't spilled their tea like that. Melody and Martel spilled their whole tea for the whole world to see and they're still doing it to this day. And so the Scots are benefiting from this and Melody stated this like, yo, if it wasn't for my vision, you wouldn't even be making money right now, period. Don't try to play with me. And I understand why she was upset because if it wasn't for her, they would not be in a position to now turn around and say, she has to prove herself to us. Even though she helped to make us, even though she had the vision and the intellect and the confidence and the arrogance and the business acumen to pitch an idea to um, Carlos King, that doesn't matter. All that matters is right now. I'm gonna be quite honest. Like, I know how people think, and I know that Marceau is getting a kick out of this. I wouldn't even give him the satisfaction of arguing him down. He knows what Melody is capable of. He knows what she's done, and he knows how, how much experience and expertise she has. That doesn't matter to him. He just wanted an opportunity to humble her. So now Melody's divorced, she's starting over, and Tisha and Marceau are pretty much trying to do the, the Scots power couple blueprint thing, even though when the show first started in season one, Tisha was a stay-at-home mom. Marceau was barely paying his bills, he was struggling. Tisha needed Melody and her husband for support. Tisha and um, Marceau were relying on the Holt's generosity to give them business deals and other things of that nature. So they were an asset to them. Now that they're they're down, I knew this was gonna happen. It's cut. It's predictable. Human behavior is predictable. No, I'm not a psychologist or a therapist, but some of this shit you can see coming from a mile away. Listen, if Martel wasn't such a loser, and if Melody was so petty, she could partner up with Martel to rebuild what they lost as co-parents, not as relationship partners. This is co-parents, right? I mentioned this over a year ago on my other channel, which I took down. Um, <laughs> now I didn't take it down. I took down some of the videos. But I stated that, you know, Martel and Melody worked really well together. Just that Martel has a personality disorder, in my opinion, and mental health issues that make him a liability to any business or any relationship that he's in. But I can't wait for the dust of this divorce to finally settle around Melody 
because I feel like she's trying to find herself and she's been trying to find herself over the past several years with all these different projects. Um, she was doing the home real estate thing for over a decade and now she's in the music and in TV and then hair care products or skincare products and in t-shirts. There's a lot of different things she's doing for her brand. I think that once she's gotten all these different endeavors out of her system, um, these different projects, these different ideas out of her system, she's going to go back into the real estate thing because she's really good at that. Um, but she's an entrepreneur. She's a businesswoman regardless. It's in her blood. It's in her personality. That's who she really is. That's why she was so triggered by Marceau, who is not that good in business. I'm sorry. Imagine being judged by somebody who's mediocre. And I'm not saying this to be arrogant, like, you know, Melody should be cocky and, and conceited. But imagine having to prove yourself to somebody who's not on your level. I would not give Marceau the satisfaction. Like, who do you think you are to tell me that I'm not good enough? I don't meet your standards. What are your standards? $100 for a booth? That's your standards? Not paying your speakers? That's your standards, bro? What standards? This expo sounded ghetto as hell. It seemed ghetto. That's not... I might even want to grovel and beg you or I try to explain myself to you why you know I should have been a speaker like he wanted her to do that he knows what he's doing and Melody fell for it she fell for it because she's really sensitive about that that's like a trigger point for her she don't care about Martel she don't care about you know Arion the mistress she cares about her reputation and her status and her brand as a businesswoman that is a large part of her identity and her being a mom but she is a businesswoman. And for someone like Marceau to say, you don't meet my standards. Like, what standards? Seriously, what are your standards? If Melody were to throw her own event, right? She were to bring back mimosas with Melody, whatever she would do. It would eclipse whatever Marceau was doing. We saw the launch party she had for the a music video she dropped, right? We saw the, um, the party she had for the, the skincare line. Like, Melody knows how to throw an event. And for him to act like... You know, she's beneath him. She has to prove herself to him with more experience and more success. And she has receipts to prove it. And again, the reason why I'm not where I should be is because of your contribution to my husband's degeneracy. It's insane to me. But I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to try to humble her. That's why when he was saying that, he had his little smirk on his face. He knows that triggered Melody. It's hard to get under Melody's skin. It is. And he was so happy that he got under her skin with that statement. Because now she's trying to prove herself to him. She's trying to explain her value to him or justify her value to him. He knows her value. It's just that because she wouldn't allow herself to be pimped by him or to be used by him, now he's going to make her question her value. So she doesn't have enough experience or expertise to speak. I might as well ask uh, Maurice or um, what's his name? Or what's her name? Stormy. He didn't ask them because number one, he didn't want to pay a speaking fee. And number two, they don't have the same charisma that Melody does. Melody's a very charming, charismatic, confident speaker. And she would have gotten a lot of attention and support for the expo. I think Marceau is bitter and resentful about that too. That Melody didn't use her brand for free to support the expo. I'm not sure if she was there or not. I haven't watched the show in a couple weeks. But it sounds like she wasn't there. And Marcel feels some kind of way about that. So now, you know what? Since you want to cut yourself out of this situation, this equation, I'm going to make sure that I completely invalidate all of your accomplishments by saying that you have a t-shirt company. Melody has a, she has a branding and marketing company too. You could tell that she's an expert at branding and marketing. She has all of these endorsement deals. She has, you know, she's got a, a, an honorary doctorate. Like she has a lot going for her. What are you talking about? She could have been a great a speaker for single mothers, for recent divorcees, for men who are recently incarcerated. Like, she's an expert in her field. Why not bring her on for her expertise? And I'm going to say this. One of my bosses told me back in the day that um, you will get much further in your career if you're liked. Nobody cares about how good you are. Nobody cares about how educated you are. All they care about is how likable you are. The cast doesn't like Melody. So they're not going to be as gracious towards her as they would to someone like Martel. Martel can fuck up 15,000 times, but they like him as a person. You get much further being likable than being competent. And that is why I've had many bosses who don't know what the hell they're doing, okay? And I'm not the kiss ass type person. So, you know, <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. But for the most part, yeah, he was correct. Um, you know, the reason why Melody doesn't get a lot of grace is because she has a very strong personality. She's very independent. She's very self-sufficient. She's very um, confident in herself. And sometimes people like that 
have a lot of hidden enemies who want to see them fail. Now I'm not bringing up this topic to um, instigate beef between the cast. I'm sure they've worked through this issue. Hopefully, they've worked through their issues and you know we're not going to turn this into another war. Um, but I just wanted to bring it up as a note that Marceau wanted to humble Melody. He did. Because like many people who watched the show, including the cast, they may have felt like Melody was bougie, Melody was cocky, Melody was selfish or whatever, whatever. So now here's an opportunity to humble her. And when you are somebody who is very, who who has a lot of accomplishments, who's very successful, um, you know, it's hard for people who are like that to show their vulnerability and their weakness because people like Marceau would pounce on that and say, see, I got you. See, you're not as smart as you think you are. You're not as confident as you think you are. You're not as successful as you think you are. You're not as important as you think you are. I'm going to use your weaknesses. I'm going to use your failures. I'm going to use your humanity against you. I'm going to weaponize your humanity against you. You went through a very terrible situation with your divorce, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is now I have the opportunity to stick you where it hurts because I could not do it before and I was intimidated before and I didn't have the power before. Now I'm in a different position thanks to, thanks to you. I'm in a better position financially. I can use that leverage to fuck you over the way I wanted to when you were married. And again, I'm not saying this to instigate any wars. We know this for a fact. I'm just confirming what I already knew. Now, hopefully they've pieced things up since the taping of this particular scene, okay? We're watching something from a few weeks back. Hopefully this does not metastasize into something else. The war is already over. We know where these people stand. We know who they are, whatever, whatever. I'm hoping that Melody, you know, gets back to where she was when she was married to Martel. She's going to need some time to find her footing. I'm going to say this though. This is a piece of advice that I've learned for myself. Um, when you do too many things or you have many different fires going, it is harder to build a strong and solid foundation for any business or any endeavor. So if you have 15 different projects going, this is what Martel and Melody discussed when they were married. Melody's doing I think she has a production company now she's doing a skincare line she's doing I think a little small uh, skincare hair care line for the baby uh, she has a t-shirt company property preservation the songs and stuff there's a lot of stuff going on right and when your focus is diffused it is harder to build higher stronger structures you're gonna build small structures that are scattered among a larger surface area instead of having one uh, strong, really strong edifice that could finance all of your other businesses. I think that Melody should focus on the real estate thing because that's what she's really good at. Even with the production company, combining the two together, um, having, you know, HGTV for black people as an idea for one of her shows, like combining real estate with, you know, other stuff that she's doing. That's important. I, I don't know if this is why she got her um, builder's license renewed. It may have been. I think she may have done it before then. I don't know. But I'm glad she got her builder's license renewed because it was wonderful seeing a, a black woman in that space as not just, you know, a real estate broker, but someone building properties, someone managing and maintaining properties. Like, that's very rare and very admirable. Side note, I have a question. Do you guys remember a few months ago when, when people were speculating that Martel was dating some lady? A black woman she was older she was darker skinned and Martel was like no we're not dating we're just business partners that's my friend and apparently it's like somebody reported that they bought some land together or she bought some land for him something like that why can't Martel's real estate friend the female friend he had a few months ago that people thought he was dating why can't this lady help him find a new home for his kids in a couple weeks but anyway, yeah, um, I hope that Melly doesn't feel like she has to prove herself to anybody, especially Marcel. But also, I hope that she doesn't need to feel validated by other people's perceptions of her value and her success, right? Um, she is someone who wants to be seen as a successful businesswoman. That's a part of her identity. That's a big part of her brand. So if someone like Marcel doesn't acknowledge that, I hope that doesn't trigger her to the point where, you know, um, she feels like if she is not seen as this, uh, business woman um, then she has no value outside of that right she's still a good mother she was still a good wife she's still a good human being if you're not if your businesses aren't successful so to speak if they all fail tomorrow you would still be those things so um, a lot of us are guilty of it and I've done it myself we're guilty of feeling validated by the things that we do not who we are right that happens a lot in our community and it happens a lot in, you know, everywhere, but in the black community, it's especially uh, prevalent because of, you know, issues with identity, especially, you know, when we grow up in single parent homes and we don't 
have the relationship with our parents, we tend to look for other things to fill that void, right? I'm my career, I'm my relationship, I'm the things that I have and I own. Um, I talk about this in astrology all the time. So yeah, I hope that Melody does not feel like she has to be successful and powerful and, and, and you know, a financially self-sufficient and well-liked by the public um, in order to be valuable as a human being. I hope she does not feel that way about herself. And I hope that the people who support her don't make her feel that way either, right? All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I look forward to giving you your feedback. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.